What's going on you guys? Welcome to the Single Guy Channel. My name's Lloyd, bringing you practical and actionable dating advice that really works. Today we're gonna to be talking about guys over 40. How to get girls when you're 40 plus dating advice for guys that are a little bit older. So uh, what is the main purpose of this video? The purpose of this video is to discuss the positives about being a guy in your 40s or a guy who's 40 plus uh, when it comes to dating. There's a lot of positives that comes with this, you guys. Uh, we're also gonna talk about the issues a lot of these guys encounter. Uh, and these are the typical issues that I find that happen with my students, that happen with my friends, uh, and, and just general things that I've seen come up with uh, this channel. We're gonna talk about these issues and we're gonna talk about the best ways to fix these issues. So at the end of this video, you should have a pretty good, clear idea of how to be successful as a guy in your 40s, whether you're just starting out, whether you just got a divorce, whether you have kids, uh, or whether you've been dating for a while and you want to take your game to the next level. Let's talk about the positives first. First of all, women love older men, okay? There's a lot of women out there that are really looking for a guy who's older. They recognize that the guys around their age are not really cutting it for them. They don't have the things that they want, um, and that's usually why they go for these older guys, because they have their shit together older guys aren't running around trying to bang everything that moves they're usually more relaxed they have a feeling for life they're more mature their game is usually better they're usually more socially intelligent you know they've been talking to a lot of people in their lives so they've done this a lot and so chances are if you're older you probably have better game with women than you do when you're younger um, that's just the way it works you learn you get better and also too guys at this age tend to have a little bit more money now I don't care what anybody says, uh, money does make a day. It does help, okay? Now, you can still get really great women and be very successful uh, when it comes to getting girls when you're dead broke. I am a testament to that, but it money does help. Now, you're able to take them out on nice dates. You can buy them drinks. You can also um, take them to, uh, you can bottle service too in the club. Uh, as well, you're able to pay for coaching and, and all this sorts of stuff that's gonna help you get a lot better. So uh, you have an advantage over these younger guys in those areas for those reasons. There's a common misconception that girls that go for older guys tend to have daddy issues. That's not true at all, okay? Uh, women who go for older guys, they actually tend to be a little bit more mature and know what they want and recognize that the guys around their age um, aren't cutting it. So whether you're looking for younger women or whether you're looking for women around your age, being 40 plus actually isn't bad at all. Um, typically, a lot of the problems and issues I see with these older guys are a little bit different um, than, than what you would expect from the younger ages, and we're gonna get into those right now. So the first thing that I see with older guys when it comes to issues is their mentality. You know, they just, they've been stuck in a routine, in bad habits, habits that have been making them unsuccessful for a long time, and it's tough to break out of those bad habits sometimes. Now, the thing about this is though, is if you are able to break out of those bad habits, I find that learning how to be good with women is very easy or a lot easier than it is when you're younger. Uh, when you're older, because you have a lot more life experience, you know yourself a lot better, you know what you're good at, you know what your strengths are, and you're just more socially smart. So the, the, the guys that are in my program that are 40 plus, I find that they actually learn very quickly. Like we, we give them a few strategies, we give them a few things to do, and they usually hit the ground running pretty quickly. The guys that I have trouble with, the guys that it takes a little bit longer for that to happen with, it's because they are stuck in these negative mindsets. They've been thinking, they've been doing things a certain way for a long period of time, and it takes a little bit, especially if they're not willing to change some of those things, then that can be a real problem. But if you are willing to shed your ego, you are willing to dive into new things, learning this stuff, learning how to be good with women can be very, very easy for you. And it can happen very, very quickly. But if you've been doing the same things, expect to get the same results. One complaint that I get from a lot of older guys is that women tend to think older men are gross. So <laughs> they, uh, this is the number one thing that I actually hear young girls saying is like, old men are gross, you know, all this stuff. How do you get past this thing? Well, obviously take care of yourself, be in shape, have good hygiene, you know, make sure, you know, there aren't hairs coming out of your freaking like eyelashes or whatever, like crazy ones like Jack Nicholson. But if you are Jack Nicholson, you're probably doing fine with women. So how do you solve this? Well, the easy way to take care of it is basically be in shape. Don't be fat. That's one of the reasons why people associate with it because older men tend to be out of shape. 
have good hygiene, um, have good good sense of style. If you have all of those things together and you're, you're well put together, you're well groomed, dude, there's no way a girl is even gonna say that to you. In fact, she's probably gonna think that you're 10 or 15 years younger than you are at a minimum if you take care of all of these things. And rather than her thinking you're this old gross guy, she's thinking you're gonna be this mature, attractive man. A lot of guys also tend to feel creepy when they're going after women or they're like hitting on them or if, especially if the girl's younger, they tend to feel a little bit creepy about it. Well, I, I can tell you guys, if you are feeling creepy when you go up and talk to a girl, then she's gonna feel that too and she's gonna think you're creepy as well. The best way to do it that I would say is you wanna let them come into your reality rather than you going into theirs. For instance, if you were pursuing a girl and you wanted to go, she was going to a festival and you put on some glow sticks, wore a silly outfit and then took a bunch of drugs and then went to this festival, okay, that would be going into her reality. That would be doing something that clearly she is you know, willing to do. But if you brought her into her, your reality where you maybe took her to like a cocktail event or something like that, something a little bit more mature, maybe a nice dinner, uh, some of, something that you would normally do as a man your age, well, that's her coming into your reality. And I find that to be a lot more successful and that eliminates pretty much all of the creepiness and all of the weird feelings that people get. Because if you go too much into her reality, she's gonna think there's something wrong and weird with you because she's thinking, why is this guy so badly want to be you know in my reality you know is there something wrong with his he hasn't figured it out at this age another complaint I get is that most guys uh, when they're at this age most of their friends are married or most of their friends are you know in relationships and stuff like that and they have kids and families and um, they're, they're dealing with those sorts of things so if you're dealing with a lot of married people like a lot of your friends are married I highly recommend that you stop spending that much time with them and start spending more time with people that are single more people that are in your uh, circumstance if you are dealing with people that are not in your circumstance, they're probably not gonna help you accomplish their goals. And in fact, they're probably gonna admonish you from doing that, you know? If you're wondering how to find these guys, basically do the weekly activities recommendation that I put in my previous video. So if you haven't seen that, uh, I talk about how to get girls in your 30s. That's a great video to watch, especially if you're in this, because a lot of the principles that are in that are gonna work for you if you implement them. This is mostly just dealing with a lot of the issues that come up with uh, guys in their 40s. And then in addition to, to this point, when you're dealing with kids, so if you're, you're divorced or you have kids or something like that and you're in your older age, okay, how do you get girls if you have kids? Well, uh, probably the same way that you would for any age. Like a lot of this stuff is applicable. It's just this is something that another responsibility that you have. And so it becomes more of a time management issue. How do I have time to take care of my kids and have my dating life? That's something that you have to fit into your schedule. And if your dating life is important to you, then yes, you should definitely do that. And I know a lot of guys think that they don't want to spend one second away from their child or don't want to do any little thing um, to, you know, do something outside of the norm or whatever. So uh, I get a lot of questions from guys that are worried about like hitting on girls while they have their kid or, or, or talking to a girl when you know they're, they're watching their their child um i don't have a problem with this dude i think you should fucking do it I, I think you should disregard what a lot of the norm is i don't know where this thing came from or where it became uncool to do it but there's a lot of people who are in this uh, in this situation and chances are if you have a kid and you're taking good care of it, she'll see that and actually see that as a positive in some ways. In fact, they actually did a study to find out what, are, what, what is the sexiest action a man can do. And at the very top of that list, even above, you know, showering naked in a waterfall with like chiseled abs, it was playing with kids. Women love to see a guy taking care of children, playing with them. Um, they, they love that thing, that's very sexy to them. So if you can utilize that, that's a huge advantage. And also too, if you're really worried about making a move while, while you're with your kid and you feel like it's gonna set the wrong example or something like that, you have to really be thinking about your happiness here because your kid is the most important thing in your life and if she is surrounded by a guy who is disgruntled, unhappy with his life and just bitter and you know alone that's not going to make her happy that's going to turn her into the same turn her or him into the same thing and if you're happy then your kid is a lot more likely to be happy i don't know any parents that are super happy that have unhappy kids another thing that people have to deal with that's pretty tough is uh, fighting the expectations so a lot of these examples that i've given a lot of it comes down to fighting expectations people have of you when you get to a certain age the norm is you should have a family you should have a job that's secure you should have all of that shit. 
And a lot of people don't have that in this day and age. Now, what I would recommend that you do to kind of avert these thoughts is, first of all, have everything else together. Have your career, be on your right path, be comfortable within yourself. It's just, you know, you're not married and you're going after women. And there's nothing wrong with that. People are getting married later and later. This norm is outdated. This expectation, this societal pressure, it's, it's wrong. It's just incorrect. And so you have to realize that. And when you're in this position, keep doing the things that you have to do. Don't listen to your stupid married friends. Don't listen to people that are going to try and tear you down and tell you to do something different because they're not improving with their lives. This is one of the biggest things that I have to deal with with guys is they have certain expectations, certain things that they feel like they should be doing, and they make bad decisions based on them. Don't make decisions based on what you think you should be doing. Make decisions based on what you know you have to be doing. A big thing that I see happening with guys too is that they tend to, because of these pressures they get married way too soon or they end up marrying a girl who just wants to be saved and what I mean by saved is I mean she wants to be married she wants to start having children quickly and she thinks that you're the guy who has a secure job that's gonna help her get that and she's just seeing you as that type of person and as soon as you get married well the relationship turns to shit so if you're encountering women that are trying to get married really soon remember stay on what you think you have to do and look at the relationship as a whole I recommend that as a guy even in your 40s, even later than 40s, I think you should not get married until you feel like you've developed your skills and you are satisfied with your success with women. All right, now we're coming to the final issue that a lot of guys have at 40 plus, and that's basically meeting women, okay? Uh, when you're in college, it's very easy to meet women. When you're you know, younger, your people, a lot of your friends are going out to bars and clubs and stuff like that, and you're just, your friends maybe held over from college, you're able to meet them that way. So a lot of older guys are struggling, especially if they like younger women, they don't know where and how to meet them. Well. A lot of the stuff that I've recommended for guys in their 30s in my previous video, you should definitely check out. All of that stuff still applies when you're in your 40s. You're just a little bit older. This is the case where you know age is just a number at this point. So if you're going out to these venues, okay, how should you act? Okay, if you're going out to maybe a bar or you're going doing weekly activities sorts of things, how do you do it in a way that, uh, like I said at the beginning, is not creepy? Well, you have to let them come into your reality. Like I said. This doesn't mean that you shouldn't say hi or you should just wait for girls to come to you. Um, that only usually works if you're getting bottle service at a club or a bar or something like that. Um, you will have to make some sort of effort. You will have to go up and talk to women and that's fine. You step outside of your comfort zone and be able to do it. Shed your ego and go out and just do it. You can meet people through your group, weekly group activities. If you're taking salsa classes, if you're taking, I don't know, improv or uh, you're, you know, you're doing some uh, weekly group work activities too those are really great as well all of these are places where you can meet people and uh, make connections through them that way and this doesn't end when you hit 40 it's not just like you're staying at home and being boring all the time so when you're out in these bars and nightclubs I recommend that you uh, be a little bit more relaxed when you're talking to women don't chase after them if you're 20 you can kind of run around and hit on like 40 girls in the bar <laughs> when you're 40 plus I would highly recommend that you don't do that uh, that will get you labeled as a creep what you should do is kind Kind of be relaxed in your own environment, um, take care of your style, take care of your dress code, see which girls kind of hang around you, and then start talking to them. And then use your resources, use the things that you have to your advantage. If you have a little bit of money, don't be scared to buy her a drink. Don't buy every girl who comes up to you a drink. <laughs> That's a bad strategy too. I have one buddy who's 40 plus um, who is doing very, very well on Tinder. A bunch of my students are doing very, very well on Tinder too. Um, so you can use dating apps. The best age group that I would say if you're 40 plus to be able to go for, that you're gonna be the most successful with is late 20s, early 30s. Women at this age group are, they've kind of calmed down, they're more mature, they're much more open to hooking up with an older guy or, or starting a relationship with an older man. Um, and they still look really good at that age too. Like I, if you're into younger girls, I'd say late 20s is probably the best time to, to go for them. And these women still hang out at bars and clubs. They still go out too. You can still meet them through your weekly activities like I recommend. When you're an older man, you have a lot more experiences, you have a lot more things going for you. And they see in that, they, they hear like certain things that you tell them. So when you're talking, 
talk about some of those experiences. Maybe that time that you traveled or maybe that time you had this job or something like that that was really cool. Be calm, relaxed about it. And that's gonna be really interesting to her. Not every girl is gonna be jumping on, you know, talking about those sorts of stories, but the ones that are, are gonna be really, really into you. And if you draw them into your reality, that's where you really shine. Now, when you get girls that are in this area that are talking to you for a little bit, there's gonna be some objections. So <laughs> the most common objection that a girl's gonna give you is she's gonna say this. She's gonna be like, you're too old for me. Now, the bad thing, the bad response to this would be to say, oh no, uh, young, you know, older men are better at all of these things. You know, you know, I, can, I, I know what you want a lot more. Okay, if you try and justify it to her, that's gonna seem uh, try hard. So what you should do instead is just be like, eh, you know, I'm old, so what? That's kind of the attitude that you need to have. You can also reverse it on them too. You can also say, well, it's not a question of age. It's a, it's a question of, are you mature enough for me? That's a good way to like reverse it on her and make yourself more of a challenge, which that's what it should be. You know, she's the younger girl, like she should be going for you. Also too, uh, women are gonna say, um, they're gonna ask you your age too. They're gonna be like, how old are you? And you know, a lot of times guys will like shy away from their age and they don't wanna talk about it. Oh, don't ask me that. No, dude, own it. I would even go so far as to say, you know what, I'm old enough to be your dad. What are you doing out so late, girl? Like, shouldn't you be in bed? Basically, it reverses it on them. Again, you're not ashamed about your age, you're playing it up, and a lot of times it seems counterintuitive. You, it seems like you're digging yourself your own grave, but actually it tends to work a lot better, you know? Basically, this is a shit test. This is women testing to see if you're uh, as confident as you claim to be. And if you're ashamed about your age, well, you just ain't that confident. Okay, cool, so that's all the things that I could think about uh, issues when it comes to older men. Again, watch my previous videos, you guys. All of them still applies when you're older. A lot of this is just people giving excuses, people stuck in bad habits. Um, all this stuff will apply to you. The principles of game, of talking to women, of being able to get it from one place to another, it's still, it's still the same when you're 40 or you're 20. It's just there are certain things that change within your life and there are certain few different expectations that you might have to deal with. So hopefully this video answered those issues. And just remember guys, the quintessential ladies man as played out in cinema is James Bond. Now I don't know if you've noticed, but James Bond is an older man. In fact, I don't know about any actor that's played James Bond that hasn't been over the age of 40. And if they had made him over the age, or under the age of 40, it would look kind of weird. It would look corny. His confidence wouldn't look as good as it was because, you know, and Kezia Noble says this in her video, you know, older men can get away with being a little bit more confident and cocky. Um, and that's the truth of it. Younger, if younger guys do it, then they seem a little bit arrogant. But if older men do it, it seems a little bit more, eh, that's probably about right. So there's a lot of great things to being an older man. Good luck out there, you guys. If you made it today and consider subscribing, I come up with videos like this every single week. If you're an older man or you're 40 plus who's looking for some coaching, looking for some extra help, I coach guys like this on a regular basis. So hit me an email, thesingleguy2017 at gmail.com. If you feel like I left out anything, you feel like I got something wrong, please put it in the comment section below. Would love to read it. Thanks a lot again. Good luck out there, you guys.